All right, friends of BC Deer Diary, um, it's been a long time. So remember I was telling you about this um, friend of mine that runs a business selling things that I love. So guys, this is BC Deer Diary. Barney is a dinosaur and he's very <laughs> hungry. Backstage after every show, he eat up all the children. Okay, once again, no dinosaur and no children was harmed during the filming of that intro video. Okay, so basically, um, if you don't really know, I'm a big Lego fan, but Lego minifigures to be exact. So today I have with me the founder, you can call him the CEO, the boss of uh, this company that sells uh, customized Lego minifigures, Look a brick. And of course, uh, he has kindly passed me some of his figures to show you guys. So... Um, this is a very, very, I'll say very nice, uh, very detailed uh, mini figure. So, of course, uh, for those who are afraid of dust, they also come with this kind of um, casing and all. Uh, mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let me introduce to you my good friend, the owner and founder of Loot A Brick, Ivan. Ivan, Hi, how are you, my man? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. Um, so, how's everything? Not too bad. Uh, been quite busy. I trying to close some deals, hopefully, and then you know <laughs> at the same time, uh, working on some other projects. Being an entrepreneur, mm. you got to keep working, keep working, keep working, keep hustling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I understand that. Uh, you don't. You were not always an entrepreneur, and you of course you will uh do your doing a eight to five. I would say eight to five employed job, and then um you decided to uh become an entrepreneur. But before we touch on that. Perhaps you can share with us a little bit on the story of Loot a Brick. What is behind the name? Why Loot a Brick? Sure. So Loot a Brick came about when actually what happened was that when I was uh, searching out for uh, customization toys back in the days, I think 2015, 2016, 2015, uh, that's about six years ago, uh, I was trying to find something for myself, for my family. So when I went around searching, searching, I just cannot find anything and it came to me that if i want to get something isn't it like finding a bit like not steal but loot a brick so <laughs> I, I deal with toys so uh the the brick definitely comes in because it's lego bricks but at the same time to loot one here from one from there i pick one here one there and i get it up as a customized toys so it the, the loot portion came about and LAB, look a brick, it's uh, very easy to resonate because it's like a lab. So when you, when, when it's a, uh, I mean, you, when you associate lab, right, it's like scientists. So you come up with something new, something good. And that's why I came up with the name, look a brick. Mm, yeah, very interesting because uh, initially when you told me that uh, the company is called lab, I was thinking some science lab. Are you selling, you know, like, those Li and Swang, those uh, hand uh, facial wash things, so lab. Okay, a uh, very cool name lab. Uh, so, but the important thing is this: How did it start and your journey so far? Like, as I mentioned earlier on, you used to be a, uh, a employee eight to five. You have a boss to answer to, and uh, now you are your own boss. So, um, can you share with other um all my, our viewers about uh how this started and how is it so far? Sure. So the whole journey started when uh, I think back in 2015, I told you just now, I was searching out for something for myself. And then uh, at the same time, back then, uh, I was still an employee, of course, full time. Uh, I also remember that was the period 2015, 2016, where because I was from the oil and gas industry. So what happened is that it, actually there was a big crisis back then. So I had a little bit of time on my hands. And what I did was actually to just look around and when the idea came about i decided to say okay i have a little bit of time customers back then didn't want to see me no choice uh so i i actually went in to start a website create something and i started selling uh online so that's how i started my so-called entrepreneurship journey and at the same time as it goes along i start to bring in different things and, and also look at how I can change the business model here and there to suit what the consumers want or the customers want. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's how it really started back then. Okay, which comes to the next question, Ivan. Uh, what are the challenges you face so far? 
So uh, when you talk about challenges, I think it really goes back to when I first started. Uh, when it first started, right, it's I would say it's challenging in the sense that I'm not good at creating a website. I'm not good at taking photos. I'm not even good at designing. So as you know, my, my business is about customization. So what I had to do, I literally went online, YouTube, or any possible sources. I tried to find out how to do designing. And it's through those uh, uh, tutorials and everything, I learned how to do Photoshop and a little, little bit of Adobe Illustrator. And till now, today, I still don't fully know, but I can come up with a fairly decent design for whatever my customers want. Uh, so that's the first challenge, of course. And as it goes along, I think the second year, uh, it, that's where business took a turn. Things start to drop down, sales drop. You don't get a lot of things. Don't get a lot of customers coming back to you. No repeated customers. And that's where I changed the business model. I tweak a little bit here and there. Uh, and then things start to start to pick up. Uh, I think by the end of the second year, I scored my very first corporate deal and uh, things went, went much better right after that. Yeah. Mm. Okay, um, speaking of that, um, people always got this, um, I would say, thinking or this perception that you are entrepreneur, you are self-employed, you are your own boss, you, you work when you want to. You don't feel like working, you don't uh, want to work. But I know that you are always in uh, meetings, in calls, uh, talking to your suppliers, talking to your designers, everyone to new customers. So can you uh, answer and uh, tackle this myth that if you are entrepreneur, you are self-employed, means uh, you're very angry, you're very free. Uh, nah. you, you're happy you wake up at 3 p.m. to work and then you're not happy you work. Is that true? Okay. It's true to a certain extent. So why I say it's true? Because to be very honest, being your running your own business, uh, you can afford to just wake up late, sleep early or whatever, do whatever you want. You want to head out to have lunch at 3 p.m. or you want to have an early lunch at 10 a.m. It's all up to you. But at the back of your head, you will always have to remember, doing this, does that mean that you actually not bring in business? So... Yes, you have all the freedom you want, but at the same time, uh, nobody sees and nobody knows when you work till 3 a.m., 4 a.m. And these are things that people don't see. So a lot of times when I'm designing something or I'm talking to suppliers, talking to customers, uh, I work through the night, I work through evenings, work through lunch, work through dinner, nobody knows. And this, uh, I would say, if anyone out there is looking at being your own boss running your own business you must be able to sacrifice uh, you must be able to tell yourself that i want to do this and it must come from within you you cannot say i, I want to do it but i'm going to take it easy so you, you got to balance it out and it's yes you have all the time you want but at the same time you have no time for any other things i think uh you you have already uh covered a little bit of this of my next question so <laughs> any advice you have for aspiring entrepreneurs be a, a fresh grad or someone uh, mid you, for you is a uh, more of a mid career change i i know you were very successful in your line and then uh one day you decided you i remember you told me bc i think i want to go full time and i told you okay uh, things and some uh, uh meaning uh i just support you mentally uh i'd be like rah rah and all so um what is the uh, advice you have for aspiring entrepreneurs? And of course, uh, I know you are married and all your family. Were there any like uh, um, push, push factor from you doing this? Like, uh, are they supportive and all? So I think uh, before I even so-called advise anyone, I wouldn't say advice, it's just uh, what personal experience I have. Uh, it's very important to have the full support of your family members. I think my wife definitely supported me a lot, a lot during my whole journey. Uh, in fact, she was the one who first gave me my Lego set after I don't know how many years when I was like, uh, I, I stopped playing Lego for since, since like maybe 14, 15 years old. But as I grew older, she reignited the, the love for Lego to come back in. Uh, gave me my first Lego set 
birthday present. And that's how I started. And then she was always very encouraging. You know, you want to do this, do go ahead, do. And my family members, they are also very encouraging. But uh, if you are holding a full-time job now, I would say you, you got to really balance and ask yourself, do you really, really want to do the particular business or whatever that you want to do? It, it, it can be a social enterprise. doesn't matter. You have, you must have the passion. You must have the, uh, the mentality, to, mentality to say that, yes, I want to do it regardless of anything. So I think with that kind of menta mentality, definitely then you can step out of your comfort zone because it, to be very honest, I gave up a, I would say, relatively well-paying job, step into the unknown from a, a decent income, monthly income to nothing. And then I had to start from scratch, from the bottom, really nothing at all. So at the end of the day, uh, you, you must be able to just push and go forward. So if those who are willing or wanting to look into entrepreneurship, it's definitely a good way to do. But at the same time, you must make sure that you are fully committed. If not, uh, take time to consider and don't just plunge in because you think that, oh, I want to do a business. I want to be a businessman. I want to be my own boss. It's not as easy as what everybody says, but people out there only see the good things. They don't see the bad things. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, so tell us, before before we let you go, I know it's very hard to catch you on. Uh, I've been trying to arrange this interview forever. You always tell me, okay, okay. So before I let you go, can you share a little bit about your website, uh, lookabrick.com? So uh, basically, what can we expect when we visit your website and uh, if you want to get something from you? Sure. So actually, we are now uh, having a new website. My old website was revamped. So the new website uh, has launched and you will be able to see, uh, I mean, if you have visited my website, the old website before, you will see that it's very, um, it's just very basic. But now we have a lot more. We have animations. We have uh, customizations. Even now we have referral codes, loyalty programs. Uh, this, of course, is to... Uh, make sure that our customers are being, uh, they, 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 while they pay to buy, to what to, to buy what they want, they actually still earn something out of it. So there will be loyalty points uh, for them to actually exchange uh, in as, as, as a in terms of cash in the future. And there will also be a lot more uh, showcasing of blogs. So we have someone actually writing blogs, uh, writing our interviews with customers. You know, they showcase what they want, and at the same time. The new website itself will be a much more vibrant website compared to the previous one. It's a little bit dull, but uh, at the same time, it serves its purpose, of course. So the new one, you will be able to see, you can navigate easily. You will be able to see the customization. You'll be able to see the passwords. You'll be able to see what's on uh, available for, for purchasing at this point of time. So yeah, look out for Load a Break, www.lootabrick.com. Okay, guys, of course, I'll be putting the link to Ivan's website in the description below. And of course, Ivan, today have already kindly gave us a promo code. So uh, key in promo code BC Dear Diary to enjoy 10% discount of all purchase. Uh, and this one is unlimited use. La. Is it unlimited use? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it will last for one month uh, mm. from, the, from, from today. So mm. uh, once this video i mean whoever that sees this video it will last for one month and people can just use the uh promo code of bc Dear diary for one whole month and uh it will be they will anyone will be entitled to a 10 percent discount for their purchase mm. and of course uh guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to bc's Dear diary and of course to ivan's loot a brick instagram page is loot a brick uh l-o-o-t-a-b-r-i-c-k and of course the links will be in the description below. So uh, anyway, thank you so much today uh, for um, actually taking your time. I know you are a busy man. No I know I'm Thanks a lot. Man, you are busy. Eh? So, um, so anyway, uh, before I let you go, is there anything you want, last last words, last words to say to our viewers? Uh, probably if, you know, uh, I hope that you guys can support local, support BC. It's uh, BC Dear Diary. Uh, definitely something that is very interesting. Uh, for those who have not seen, or maybe probably you have seen, that's why you're here. Uh, <laughs> please spread the word to your friends and, you know, 
subscribe to his YouTube channel. At, at the same time, uh, look out for Load the Brick. Every week, we will be having new products coming out. So uh, get yourself uh, uh, on, yes, <laughs> on, on our Instagram and Facebook, and you'll be updated of the news. Sign, sign up for the for the newsletter. Every week, we will be sending out something also. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, once again, uh, on behalf of This Is Dear Diary, uh, we thank you, Ivan, for taking your time to join us and for this uh, very fruitful sharing. This is one of the first time we have a fruitful sharing. Uh. Normally, I'm full of nonsense. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, so today, uh, thank you so much once again. And uh, guys, remember the pandemic is still... Okay, now it's like the endemic kind of thing, but it's still true. So uh, remember, mask up, wash your hands, stay safe, uh, love each other. Most importantly, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so uh, this is, once again, BC's Dear Diary, and that's Ivan. Uh, I got nothing else to say, so Tai Jian. Okay, remember like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Thank you, Ivan. Thank See you. Bye-bye.